hello again. Today I have sound studio equipment that will help me record and make audiobooks. I'm going to give a shot at auditioning for a few audiobooks. I'm hoping some people will like my voice. We'll see. I do have some experience in sound audio, so I'll see if I can put it to use. So I ordered one of these sound recording booth boxes. And this is so that uh, when I go to record, I can put the microphone in there and I can practically put my head in there and uh, not all the way, but it'll capture all my sound and keep the sound waves from bouncing off of other things in the room. And that way my room um, won't be so echoey and uh, I can figure out what to do and where to move it to get the optimal sound quality for audiobook recordings. So let me show you what this looks like and I'll leave the links to it below in the description. What this looks like is this. As you can see, the microphone's inside the box so that you can record. It has a one-year warranty. Amazon.com obviously wants me to give a review about it. Here are the foam pieces. Basically, it just pops up like this. There's a zipper in the back. I don't know if you can see that zipper. See the zipper? And it opens. You take the zipper and you, it's probably better from the, from the inside. You go and you zip it up. So now it's a box. And then you take this part, this part of the box, and you push it up. That helps give the box some stability. And there you have the box. And it has a handing, handle on one side. And uh, not sure what that tape's about. Oh, the tape is probably for the, the soundproofing on the inside. So the soundproofing looks like this. You basically line your box with the soundproofing. It has these little ridges and though you want the ridges facing you in the box so that way when your sound waves hit it it disperses them and absorbs them so that's why it's got all these ridges you put it in so that they can help capture the sound and absorb it and keep it from bouncing around because that's what makes the echoey noises is the sound bouncing all over the place really simple not very expensive addition if you want to be doing sound audio books and recordings and it looks like this when you're done and you put it on a stand and you put your mic inside and you're good to go i'm going to probably get some double-sided tape to secure the, the pieces in there better i also will probably be buying a special flat stand or i have some tables that raise and lower that are flat that I can put it in as well. Um, it's really nice to have a table that raises and lowers for this application because even though you're going to be talking into it, you definitely want to not have to be leaning too much. You don't want to have it too low. You want to have it at the right height for you wherever your workspace will be. Once again, all the links and descriptions will be in the comments below. You can check out some of my other favorite recording equipment. You can join me on this journey through trying to do audiobooks. We'll see. Like I said, you have to audition for audiobooks and they also have a high quality of the audio recordings that they want. So we'll see how that goes. All right, the next video up will be the dance, the microphone stance. So hope you join me there. See you there.